guys, Tad the Gaming here, and today I'll be doing a Verad rune guide and review, and also show you what he does. But so since the new update, Verad has gotten a massive buff with his uh, damage uh, second and third skill. They do uh, damage proportionate to your defense. So the higher your defense is, the more damage you deal. Um. And he's uh, the best attack bar decreaser because he it decreases your attack bar to zero, and also freezes the enemy. So that's really good for TOA, crowd control. Also used as a five mod farmer. And this one also has a chance of freezing it. So basically, I put him on this. Uh, to spare focus for good accuracy, not the best accuracy because I had to focus on some speed. Uh, I tried putting crit damage on him, but since the new update, uh, the new buff he had, it's a pretty big buff. His uh, second and third skill scales off largely amount of in of his defense. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are better off going defense, defense, speed. He needs the speed because he needs to quickly stun the enemy. So. There's no point if he gets locked down and then stuns the enemy, because he can't. So you want him to go quite speedy. So I put speed on him. And I went for defense defense for uh, him being tanky. So right now my defense runes aren't powered up, but what you want to focus on is getting good accuracy, because he has. you want him to land uh, your stuns. Despair is an optional build, like, you don't have to do Despair. I, I, it's, it, in my opinion, Despair helps in TOA. But, uh, focus is for the accuracy, so, the recommended, uh, I'd recommend, uh, building Verad. Violent Will. Violent Will is a decent slot out for, uh, Guild Attack, Guild War Attack, uh, Arena the defense and offense because will is for the uh, in case you get like stunned or something uh, violent and you guys might ask why put violent on a verad like he's got no use on a violent what well, after you use his third skill what's the point of getting a violent prot and using the second skill again well here's the thing if you put him on violent he can uh hit pretty hard uh, with second skill and third skill combined together or if you want You can actually use keep using the third skill and it refreshes the third ability Because in TOA you want to use that third ability as quick as possible Like when I say as quick as possible you want to use it as soon as you get it for the attack bar stun uh, for the stun and attack bar uh, Reduce so, uh, I'll show you what he can do, uh, with Fine One Farming. I put him on Despair Focus, Speed, Defense, Defense. He works pretty well on crit damage, because he crits a lot. But, uh, right now, I'm not focusing on, uh, him, uh, crit damage, because... I honestly want him Defense, Defense for good attack, uh, good, uh, sustainability as well, because I don't necessarily have the, have the best substats so my runes aren't maxed out yet and i don't have the best runes or any god runes they're just normal runes you get from like b10 and he's on about 150 160 speed and he's doing pretty okay here with uh he might actually die but he's doing pretty nice with speed runes on him Okay, so there's a 48 second run of Fimon farming using a defense monster. So I'm pretty happy with that because originally I never had any uh, AoE nukers until I got uh, Sigmaris. I fused Sigmaris and I got my Akama Mir. I also got Prom, but he's 3 star and his base attack's pretty low, so. I, uh, Verad's pretty good because he scales off defense, so. He's basically like a tank nuker. I use him as an AoE nuker because, you know, why not? He does more damage on defense. So if I build him full defense, 
he can wreck pretty hard. And when he uses his third skill, it decreases the attack bar. Then, usually in farming, he goes straight for the second skill, which does a lot of damage. And then he can start using his first first skill, uh, which does a uh, not a lot of damage, to be honest. Because it doesn't scale off HP or anything, or defense. Oh, and in, and in occasions like this, uh, where I start to die, probably because I haven't upgraded my runes yet. So that's pretty depressing. Oh, just managed to pull off 115. So not a consistent run, there was a 30 second difference. Depending on his crit rate. My crit rate is shit right now, so I need to fix that. After the free rune removal day, I had to try to get some crit rate, but okay. So that's him in a Faimon farming. He also can do Hydeni 5, if you guys want to see. If you don't, just skip ahead to the next part, where I show you what he does in TOA. But, uh... Okay, weird AI, but, uh, so Hydeni is used if you, uh, don't, can't really farm Phymon consistently, or you don't have the right monsters or friend reps. Okay, so uh, 37 second se seconds, uh, pretty good, I guess, with defense break and attack uh, debuff. Okay, so this is the part where, uh, I don't know which one, 70, now nah, I'll do a, where Verad comes in handy if you go like, uh, I don't know which stage, I don't want it to take too long, so. I'll show you what he does uh, in TOA. Something like this, yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, Verad, uh, he's pretty good for autoing because he's reliable, stun, and doesn't let any, like. Oh, well, shit. He doesn't let any uh, holes. As you can see, everyone's attack bars stunned. Uh, all their attack bars, zero. Four out of five people stunned. Not bad, since TOA resistance is pretty high. He also does a... I don't think he needs damage in TOA, like... He just needs to be able to stun. And in TOA, if you put a... Violent, he's really helpful because he can just keep violent prodding and then uh, GG to the boss like instant death. The attack bar stuns really good, so that's pretty much all he does. If you guys want to see, um, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for Verad. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.